Words are powerful. The conditions that we as people, I can only speak for myself and maybe this can relate to somebody that's watching. And I will ask that you share this. Because I feel like when I learn something positive, I want to share it with the world, share it with people. Um, I'm choosing my words wisely because I had to learn that the understanding of words is not understood to everybody the way they're being said. So therefore, if you're reading something and you're reading it out loud, you gotta understand you're casting spells that can be good or bad. Some words that sound good, they can initially be bad. So it's best that you take and look those words up. And if the first definition that you look up don't satisfy you for its understanding, it always have sub understandings of under, of under those first understandings is gonna to relate to what you didn't understand the first time, if that makes sense to anybody. Well, <clears throat> sometimes you could be saying something good that you think is good, but in actuality, it's bad. It's, it's like vice versa. People, your words are powerful, and what you, what you absorb inside your ears from hearing and seeing it can affect your whole world. Prime example, I do not watch the news. It's my opinion, I don't watch the news. The news might tell you in the midst of four or five different negative things, they might throw something good in there to also keep your attention. But it only is diverting you from all the negative they say when you first come on the news. Uh, they don't just start out by telling you the weather. You can smell the weather. You can go outside and feel what it's going to feel like outside, what it's going to be like outside. Whether it's going to rain, you can smell the rain, because our creator gave us senses. Hear, taste, touch, feel, seen. All this stuff, we got senses. And I, didn't, I know I didn't name them all, but... Um, the news. The news clog you up with negativity. And understand this, when you're constantly hearing something negative, once you shut that TV program and box off, now it take you, it's into your world, so you actually looking for that negativity. And whatever your thought pattern is, it's, it's a wave pattern and it soon come out of your mouth. You might tell somebody like, man, did you hear what happened? Or did you hear, uh, 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 baby, did you hear what happened? Or uh, uh, partner, did you hear what happened? See, now you're delivering what came to you from that TV box, from that TV program out into the world. So I read this book, and in this book it says, for a man or a woman to do right all the time, to do right, to do right, they're bound to come to ruin by the masses of people that does wrong. It's because people are caught off guard. People are caught off guard with TV and being programmed to what somebody else is saying. Okay, let me jump subject, but I'm gonna stay on the subject. It says, study to show yourself approved. And that, that's just not in the Bible. That is just not in the Bible. You have to study to show yourself approved. Don't if you, uh, say if you read something that you wanna learn, about, like a manual to an item or you know, in my case, I'm reading this book called The Law of Attraction. I'm going to post that up. It's called The Law of Attraction by Esther and Jerry Hicks. Or on top of that, every day I read a verse out of the Bible. I read a verse out of the Bible. I'm in the Holy Bible. So I read a verse out of it. And when I start reading these verses, or when I start reading out of either one of my books, that I come across words that I don't understand. And some of the words I came across, it seemed like these words are positive. But when you actually look them up, it gives you definitions to what you just read. I'm like, wow, that was bad, but it sounds good. You know what I'm saying? So, only thing I'm stressing to anybody that's watching, be careful of the words that come out your mouth. People don't entrap you. You entrap you with the words that come out your mouth and it's summon the people. See, they're spells and there are good spells and there are bad spells. It's just like when you see these movies when they're showing this witch and she's brewing, she's brewing in this pot of stew, but she's speaking over that she's brewing it. She said, I'm blah, 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 whatever she's saying. I can't even, I don't know what witches say over it, but I know in movies and in 
in, in imagery, they show these spells being cast inside these pots. Understand, she's casting spells with her words. Even though she's doing the motion with her hand inside the pot, she's casting spells over whatever she's cooking to feed or deliver to somebody else. It's the same thing. So when you get, so when you read something or when you in, when you in, you in, in, let's say ingest something, your eyes or through your ears, and then you take that and you go put it out your mouth, you cast some spells. Like, uh, I know growing up, I done heard some teachers say, boy, you ain't gonna grow up to be nothing. And that's just that simple. He just cast a spell. So now it's on that person to receive whatever that individual has said. You follow what I'm saying? So you, you gotta build a person up. You can't tear a person down. Don't listen to people telling you about your faults. It's a such thing called constructive criticism. But in that constructive criticism, if a person gonna deliver it, it's just like speaking in tongue. Don't speak in tongue if you can't deliver a definition for it. So if I told a person, um, oh, you ain't gonna grow up to be nothing, which I'll never tell nobody now like that. I gotta give them a definition why, and it's not the individual I'll be speaking about, it's what they're doing. So I'll say, hey, I didn't mean you won't grow up to be nothing. What I'm saying is, if you continuously keep doing what you're doing, it's gonna amount to nothing, which is gonna make you amount to nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's never the individual, like people. I don't dislike people. I don't dislike things. I dislike the things that they're doing or the situation. I dislike the situation. So that pushes me away from the person. I hope that didn't go over nobody's head. But if it did, understand this. Your words are powerful. Your words are powerful. Your words can change your second, your minute, your hour, your day, your week, your month, or your year. That's seven I gave you. Seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years. It can change it for you in a split second. All you got to do is be grat show gratitude daily. I am thankful. I am helpful. Thank you. Thank you for my arms. Thank you for my legs. Thank you for my hands. Thank you for my feet. Show gratitude daily and be careful about the words that come out your mouth. And spirits work like this. Understand this. I'm going to give you a good definition of spirits. This is my belief and my understanding. And if you apply, you'll see what I'm saying is real. Spirits come to you very, very fast. Very fast. So when our flesh tends to get anger, it make our thought speak something out of our mouth. And that's a spell being casted. So me, I had to learn how to keep my mouth shut. Remember, our creator gave us two ears and one mouth to be slow to speak. And think about it. The mouth is the biggest hole on your body. So once you learn how to use your mouth, everything in your world going to change. Jealousy and envy is around you all day, every day. It's like a thief in the night. It snatches life. So that's why I choose to be away from certain humans. If I feel your arm jacked up, or if you say something about your mouth jacked up, I ain't going to say nothing out of mind jacked up. I'm just going to ease away from you. Animals don't tend to do that. Humans, in my opinion, are the smartest, dumbest creatures. And that's I'm saying that in an awe-inspiring way. So until we learn how to use our mental, I think we are the chosen ones, if y'all know what I'm talking about. But we harken our hearts, meaning we harden our hearts to the power of the truth. So when you harken your hearts to the power of the truth, anybody that know anything about this Bible can use it against you. They can use it against you. Even in the so-called slavery days, they couldn't really use the Bible against certain, certain ethnicities. They used their own race to interpret those words that he didn't understand, like, thou shalt worship thy master. Come on, man. I'm the master of me. There is no master of me. You understand what I'm saying? Once the creator made me, he broke the mold. Ain't no two fingerprints the same. So can't nobody master me, even if they think they can. I'll let them think they're doing it. Let them think they're pulling strings. But in actuality, if I'm aware of this, I'm still pulling my strings no matter what you think you're doing. So in essence of saying that, peace, watch the words that come out your mouth. Mind, I say repeat these. If you choose, I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am thankful. I am opulent. I am giving. I am receiving. And for any word that has came out of my mouth to hurt or harm anybody or any situation, including myself, first and foremost, I watch that away with peace, love, and happiness. Peace. Take heed to it. 100.